Hi, this is Jack from GamesKeys.net. In this video, we've got something special for all you newbies out there in Residence Massacre. We're diving into the nitty gritty with some essential tips and tricks to help you survive the night. So without further ado, let's get started. First things first, when you're ready to begin a match, hop right into those car lobbies. That's where the action starts. Once you've spawned in, it's crucial to rush into the house for supplies. And if you're playing with teammates, make sure to grab all the loot before turning on the radio. We need those resources. Oh, and a quick tip. Don't waste your precious time checking the entrance, bedroom, or bathroom for items. They're empty. Now that we've got our loot, let's talk barricades. These are your first line of defense. When the radio stops, it means the time has begun and night falls at 12 p.m. You've got plenty of time to complete your tasks. Hammers are your friends. Each one has three uses and you can pick up five hammers from barricades. We highly recommend placing one plank on each window and three on the bathroom window since it's a bit trickier for Larry to reach. Wondering why we're all about barricades? They give you that extra window of time to react and scare off the anomaly when he tries to enter. Trust us, it's a lifesaver. Okay, now let's dive into setting up security cameras for that extra layer of security. Before we go any further, let me introduce you to the Bloxy Cola. It's a stamina refiller that brings you back to full power. Just remember, it has a two second wind up while you drink it. Keep it handy to escape from Larry if he's hot on your heels. See that yellow bar? That's your cola refill indicator. Back to security cameras. Grab the ladder near the shed, place it in the highlighted spots and click on the camera. We've got a total of three cameras to work with. Alright, time for the most crucial part of the game, the generator. You need it to breathe inside your house. A warning light will pop up when your oxygen starts to deplete while inside the house. After every 2-3 to three encounters with Larry, make sure to refill the generator while he's not around. Now, let's discuss those security cameras in detail. They can be handy, 
but don't overuse them, especially since it gets darker at night. Visibility might be an issue. Lights and the electrical box are your main tools for repelling the anomaly. Be cautious though, overusing the lights can break the electrical box. To fix it, head outside and use a wrench. Click on the wire with the yellow glow. Don't mess this up, otherwise you'll get a shocking surprise. And there you have it folks, our beginner's guide to Resident's Massacre. We hope these tips and tricks help you survive the night and conquer the game. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more gaming content.